Hello everyone. Welcome to this new playlist where I will be talking about how we can use Microsoft Azure Logic Apps to talk to Dynamics 365 finance and operations. Now my objective is not to talk about best practices and error handling scenarios of Logic App, but basically we will be looking at how we can configure the core integration patterns which are available in finance and operations in Logic Apps. In this first video, what we will do is we will go through a walkthrough of the setup required to build the connection between Logic Apps and finance and operations. So let's start. I'll share my screen. So I am inside Azure portal. Before we do anything here, let me just talk you about talk you through about my environment. So I have deployed a tier one environment in my own personal lab, which is uh, deployed in Australia Southeast region. So I can log into the environment. And this is the root URL of my environment. Now what happens is uh, in order for logic apps to authenticate with finance and operation, we need to register an, uh, an app in Azure portal and that app will have a unique application ID, client ID and secret which we will define in finance and operations under system administration module. We have a menu item which is Azure Active Directory applications. This is where we will define our application ID of the Azure app registration. Now, in order to configure a new app registration in Azure, we have to log into our Azure portal, make sure you we have a valid subscription, and we have to click on a create resource and select app registration, or we, I can directly select from here. So I go to app registrations. Here I will be able to see my existing applications which are there, but I will create a new app registration. In this case, I'll call it YT Playlist D365FO app. And then what we do is we click on register. Now, once this app is created, what we have to do is give it some permissions to access the ERP resources. So we go to app API permissions, click on add permissions. And then here we have to select Dynamics ERP. Then we have to go to delegated permission. And for the sake of these tutorials, I'll give it full permission. Now, this is where I have added the permissions. But then I also need to uh, generate a new app application ID and secret, which I can do by going into certificates and secrets and click on new client secret. I'll say data 65 for tell. Let's say it's valid for six months. And now at this point, system will give me this value of the secret, which I, I need to basically copy and Keep it safe because I won't be able to see it again. So I've copied it in my notepad and then basically I can go to my overview and from here I can copy the client ID, which is also sometimes called as the application ID. So I've copied my application ID, I've copied my secret, and as we can see here that my tenant is D365 ugindia.com or I can also copy this as a tenant ID. So um, I'm just popping my uh, <clears throat> values here in a in a separate notepad file because we will be use we will be using this when we configure Logic App, and uh, the audience is basically our root URL of the finance and operation URL. Uh, finance and operations environment. So basically, I've captured a few uh, variables here. Uh, now, once that uh, Azure application is configured, I will come to finance and operations. I will create a new Azure Active Directory application record. Here, I have to give the client ID, so which is the application ID basically. 
if I give here, I'll say logic cap. And in the user ID, I'll call admin save. So now this is the setup required to basically um, build the bridge between Azure portal and the finance and operations app. So in the next video, we will start using this information and start configuring logic apps.